Hey guys, I'm your pharmacist Sidra and welcome to my channel where you can ask your pharmacist all about health and pharmacy. In today's video, I'm going to talk all about levothyroxine, a very commonly used medication to treat hypothyroidism. So if you or someone you know takes this medication, then stay with me till the end of this video and learn how to get the most out of it. But first, let's do a quick recap on hypothyroidism. Hypothyroidism basically means low thyroid levels which causes the body's system to slow down and you have symptoms like fatigue, weight gain, constipation and many others that I'm not going to discuss right now as I have a separate video explaining the thyroid gland's normal function and its disorders. Don't forget to check that out so you can get better understanding of what I'm talking here. For now, let's jump right into levothyroxine without any further delay. Okay, so levothyroxine Thyroxine, or common brand name Synthroid, is a man-made thyroid hormone that is meant to replace hormone that is usually made by your thyroid gland. Generally, thyroid replacement treatment is to be taken for life. It is normally taken as a single dose first thing in the morning with a plain glass of water and wait about 30 to 40 minutes before breakfast. And yes, that includes spacing your morning cereal and cup of coffee because taking it with food can decrease the absorption by 20 to 40%, which is not good. So make sure you space it. Also, it's not taken at night because some people find it hard to sleep after taking it. Now let's talk about the side effects. An ideal case, An ideal case if your Synthroid dose is right, meaning it's replacing the exact amount of thyroid hormone, that your body is not able to make, then you should not experience any side effects with the medication. But if you are feeling nervous or anxious, or making too many trips to the restroom, or having increased appetite, that means the dose is too high. And on the flip side, if the body system is still slow, that means you're not getting enough hormone replacement and dose needs to be increased. Now, once your doctor has determined your specific Synthroid dose, it's important to have your thyroid lab test done at least once a year to make sure everything is all right. Like I said before, normally it's a lifetime therapy, so the doses actually should be adjusted with age because taking too much levothyroxine or Synthroid has been associated with irregular heart rate, increased bone loss, especially in women after menopause. If you take foods like soybean, walnut, and grapefruit, let your doctor and pharmacist know as these foods may reduce the absorption of your Synthroid and you may need dosage adjustment. And if you take products like iron, calcium supplements, or N acids, remember to space them about four hours from your Synthroid because they can reduce your body's ability to absorb the medication and your medication won't show its full effect. Do let your doctor know if you are taking medications for other health conditions like diabetes, heart disease, or blood clotting problems. Because of some possible interactions, dosage adjustment is necessary. You may experience weight loss with the medication, but here is the key point. Do not use your levothyroxine for weight loss alone or in combination with other medications for weight loss. Since hypothyroidism is more common in women, so if you are taking Synthroid and you become pregnant, don't wait and immediately tell your doctor because now you may need a 30 to 50 percent increase in dosage throughout the course of pregnancy because thyroid disorder in pregnancy may put your child at risk of intellectual impairment. This is why it's actually recommended to start your thyroid treatment prior to pregnancy. Now, as a pharmacist, I get asked a lot that what is the difference between levothyroxine and NP thyroid? So here's a simple answer. There are two kinds of thyroid replacement medications, synthetic thyroid replacement and natural thyroid replacement. So levothyroxine that I just talked about is synthetic, meaning it's a man-made thyroid hormone replacement. Synthroid and levoxyl 
are its common brand names. If you have watched my video on thyroid disorders, you'll know there are two types of thyroid hormones produced by thyroid gland, which are T3 and T4. Your body obviously needs both kinds. Your synthetic thyroid replacement like levothyroxine is made up of only T4. But when you take it, your body changes it to T3. On the other hand, natural thyroid replacement medications like Armour Thyroid or NP Thyroid are natural thyroid replacements. As the name indicates, they are naturally dried. Usually they come from animals like pigs, cows or sheep. That's why typically they have a characteristic strong odor. So unlike synthetic thyroid replacement, your natural thyroid replacement has both T3 and T4. Is it confusing? Well, let me do a quick rewind in case you are confused. So your thyroid gland produces two hormones, T3 and T4, which are both essential for its proper functioning. Levothyroxine, which is your synthetic hormone, is made up of T3, which when taken is transformed into T4 by the body. However, NP thyroid, which is natural hormone replacement, is made up of both T3 and T4. So of both natural and synthetic, which one you think is better? Well, FDA has actually approved synthetic thyroid for the treatment of hypothyroidism because there are more clinical trials and more data available on it, while natural replacements are not approved, but some people still prefer them over the synthetic because they feel better using it. The bottom line is that there is no clear data to compare both head to head. It's just your personal preference or what you find suitable for yourself. Well, on a side note, synthetic thyroid replacements are better options for vegetarians or vegan. All right, so if you take thyroid medications, let me know in the comments which type you take, natural or synthetic, and how do you like it? All right, that concludes my today's video. I hope you gained a lot of information. Do share it with your friends and family and teach them what you've learned today. Make sure to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on my new weekly videos. I will see you next time. Until then, take care. Thank you.